Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovelies. How are you all doing? And hope you're all having a beautiful day, guys. Uh, it's raining here in my place, and the weather has been really shifting. It's been like it's raining in the morning, and it's sunny in the noon, and it's again raining in the evening. So it's just been a confusing climate condition here. And due to the climate, I'm a little bit sick, so please don't mind me because of my voice. Okay, so this is just going to be a general reading just before I start your reading for today. So I will be picking out three cards for three groups of you. For those who are in a committed relationship, for those who are in a separation state and for those who are singles. Okay and this reading will resonate for all zodiac signs it is a timeless reading you can watch it even if you come across this video after like 10 days after i post it maybe the general reading will not resonate that i'm going to give you after this reading like the reading for your zodiac sign for today will not resonate but this reading that i'm going to do today will definitely resonate with you guys and my goal is to kind of like make you all happy and i will be really happy if you i mean if my videos if my readings help you in some other way okay so please comment down below if you really feel it helped you if you really like if it made you happy it will really like boost me up it will really make me happy to see you all happy so make sure to comment down below and let me know if i helped you all guys now let us just start off with a reading now so i will be laying out cards for all the three sets of you today i will be using the monology deck okay lately i've been obsessed with this deck obsessed with the monology deck so i will be using the monology deck today okay so let me just take three cards so first for those of you who are in a committed relationship committed relationship those of you who are in a separation state and my single my singles okay so yes guys these are the piles for you guys so for those of you who are in relationship, you have to choose this pile. For those of you who are in a separation state, you choose this pile. For those of you who are single, choose this pile. Okay, now I will be starting with a pile number one for those of you who are in this committed relationship. So let me keep these two piles separately. And please guys, some of you link the timestamps in the description, I mean in the comments down or you can also see it in the description box that I will be mentioning it somewhere here on the video, okay? So let me just start off with a pile number one now. Okay, for those of you who are in this committed relationship, we have balance, spirituality and practicality. So this card is all about how you're balancing your life all together. So this card even means like some of you are finding it difficult to balance your situation. Definitely you're finding it difficult to balance your life, your situation, whether it be your spiritual life and your practical life or it can be your career and your love life or there is no balance in this connection okay that is the main reason for the wrong things that are happening in this connection because the first thing that you need to concentrate on is the balance of this connection okay so to make this connection more unique to kind of grow together with this person to build something nice for this person the first thing that you should be concerned about is the balance that you have with this person okay so that is what I can see here. If you're not going to be balanced with this person, if you're not going to be like uh, giving this relationship equal importance as this person, then I don't think this is going to really grow. This connection is not really going to grow. So if you want this relationship, 
to go as by your expectations you have to maintain that balance in this connection and you have to also help this person maintain a balance in this connection so that is the most important thing that you must remember today guys there needs to be balance in this relationship and this is a very general reading don't take it like seriously okay and yes we have the pisces energy full moon in pisces the pisces is a sign that has no balance pisces usually you it's like you say that pisces only say things they never do things at the same time you cannot believe a Pis pisces if they say something you shouldn't believe it but if a scorpio says something you can believe it if a taurus says something you can believe it but if a pisces says something you should think i mean you should just see if that person will do you shouldn't believe it okay because the pisces are i wouldn't say liars but they're not best in keeping up with their promises okay so that is what i can see here with this card with the full moon in pisces that is what i can see here so again this relationship there is no balance don't trust simply make sure that you have a reason to give this person all your love okay so i hope you got that message my lovelies who chose the pile number one and if you want your relationship to kind of grow attain its potential then the first thing that you need to do is you need to have a balance in this connection and do things that kind of like brings that balance in your connection okay so thank you all so much for those who, ch um, who are in a committed relationship now i'll be moving on to the pile number two okay so pile number two for those of you who are i'm sorry guys i'm sorry yes uh, for those of you who are in the separation state work through your fears uh yes so this card is all about so as you can see yesterday i pulled out cards for your person but today it's all about you growing yourself is also and if you're in a spiritual connection for example a twin flame soulmate connection if you feel you're like a divine feminine or a divine masculine then the first thing that you must understand is you need to grow yourself you need to become that high person you need to like grow yourself to kind of manifest such a relationship and yes guys this is like part of the twin flame journey it's not just this person you must think about and this person you must try to grow maybe even you have to make certain things for yourself you have to develop yourself into that higher being so i hope you understand that energy and today is going to be all about I'm, i will be only talking about your energies and even for the people in relationships i spoke about your energies and this i will be giving you some ideas and how to improve yourself so that your twin flame or soul my union will be easier for you guys okay we have worked through your fears again with the work through your fears all i can see here is that maybe you have a little fear on this connection or on certain things so so on certain things but these things can be like not even related to this relationship with this person but still guys working with your fears bringing out that true potential in you bringing out who you are what you are will definitely impact on this connection so if this is a twin flame soulmate connection this is like a thing that you must do it is a thing that you must not take it simply okay because this will really help you on your spiritual journey try to work through your fears the scorpio is all about mystery it is all about secrets it is all about rebirth so it's something like the universe wants to tell you that you must face your fears and you must face the truth the fears can also mean truths that you're kind of avoiding or that you didn't really view it clearly or you were lying to yourself so there are certain hidden aspects in your life that you must um take it out and experience it so that you can let go of it completely and you can grow as a completely different person okay 
and trust me guys if you do this you will kind of like this person will definitely come towards you because this is a part of your soul journey for most of you who are in a separation state i can see that you guys are in a twin flame soulmate connection so this will really help you grow and this will really help you understand this person more okay so that is what i can see here with the walk through your fears okay guys so for those of you who are in the separation state this is all i can say here now i will be moving on for those of you who are my singles it's time to release negativity so my singles who are watching this even if you're cross watcher you are like watching for my uh, for your person zodiac then it's okay you can still choose it I mean, you can still choose whatever it is doesn't matter so if you're here then it is time to release negativity if you feel certain situations around you are negative if you feel certain people are negative they're not being positive please keep a positive mind don't be negative don't be with people who kind of are negative don't be with anyone who don't treat you well who are like filled with negativity who are not um exactly like how you wanted them to be no guys just step away from all things that are negative and this card usually comes when it has to say that you guys been have been like too positive lately and it's time to embrace that it's time to not think negative about yourselves too maybe certain things in the past can bring you down but it's not going to be like this all the time it is going to change time will change everything and you need to be ready for that guys you need to be ready for this change even though life is giving you the change you must be ready to accept it otherwise it is not going to manifest easily for you guys okay so that is what i can see here what is time to release negativity my lovelies so thank you all so much like really for joining me here and i really hope i help you every day on your twin flame soulmate journey or if you're in a separation state you need some encouragement i'm always here please comment down below and let me know i will be really happy to help you all i will reply to each of your comments so please make sure to comment down below and ask me anything that you like even though you don't like my readings please comment down below and let me know so that i can actually change the way that i'm doing it or something i i'm looking forward to kind of improve myself i'm looking forward to improve the channel so make sure to comment down below and let me know guys okay so yes i will be moving on to the reading right now to the actual reading so yes see you all there guys bye hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovely taurus thank you all so much for joining me here taurus this is going to be your daily reading taurus for your general energies and also for your love energies taurus so let's see what is coming up for your general energy stories and then we will be moving on to your love energies stories so what is coming up for your general energy stories if you can hear like it's the rain it's been raining for past 3 to 4 days here and that is the main reason my voice is so cranky or if you notice some difference in my voice it's because of the rain so nothing else Let us just start off the reading, Taurus. <coughs> I hope you can hear. Despite the rain, we have the Queen of Earth for your general energies, and we also have the Strength card for your love energies. So definitely, what I can see for you here, guys, with the Queen of Earth. is that today you are going to be working on yourself you're just going to be in a romantic relationship you just want to be romantic you just want to be with the people you love 
and all i can see here is that you are going to be very very creative so that is another thing that i can see here you're going to be beyond creativity today you're just going to be beyond beyond creative doing the things that you love manifesting what you're supposed to and mostly you're just going to dream about the finer aspects in life you're going to be dreaming about certain things that maybe are far away from you but you still want it because of certain situations or you want it because you feel like you need it in your life so you might just like dreaming about what you want in life what you want to manifest in life and everything of that sort okay so this is what i can see here for you guys my lovely so for your love energies with the strength card taurus all i can say that this person feels proud they feel like boastful they feel strong they're happy in their life it is totally like a proud and a boastful energy together so this person may be like talking about you to people they're just like boasting about you they're boasting about how beautiful you are how lucky they are to have you so all these kind of talks involves this kind of an energy like how the line is is very strong and is very boastful like you if you know how to tame a lion you know you can boast that to anyone right so the same way this person views you as a lion and they just feel like they're boasting to everyone every single person about you they're talking about you to every single person they want to like find out about you they want to talk about you they want to express their feelings how they feel everything about you to people okay so that is again what i can see here with you taurus they feel very proud they feel boastful to have you in their life all sorts of boastful energies and yes thank you all so much for joining me here bye guys